Hey guys, how are you all? Welcome to the second K-pop video. Um, today I thought I would do a really quick mini review on the new Yukis album called Always. It's an EP album between the two big comeback albums. And I thought it would be a great way to kind of kick off um, some of my K-pop videos with something just really relaxing, uh, kind of like down low. So today I'm going to look at the album um, in a few different aspects. So the first will be my general impressions, then I'm going to do a run through for the track by track list, um, a few thoughts on that. Then I'm going to talk a little bit about the album art, and then finally I'm going to wrap it up with a little bit of a conclusion to summarize everything that I've talked about. So if you guys are interested in checking out You Kiss, keep watching! So I have things written down here because I actually filmed this the first time and I really really didn't like um, how the video came out because it was really scattered, which is why I decided to structure it like this this time. So first let's talk about the album. The album itself is the 10th mini album. There are six songs in total, five of them are new, and the sixth song is actually an instrumental version of uh, one of the songs within the track list. So management basically revealed Smart Love, which is the very first song on the track list, and they kind of use that to promote the overall like aesthetic and tone of the album, just to kind of give fans a little bit of a teaser um, to get them excited about the album before it actually Actually released. So I really loved Smart Love. I thought the song was really catchy, it was really relaxing, it had just a really great tempo to it for like walking and like reading or studying anything and I really liked that. So I really thought that would set the tempo for the song overall but um, it starts out with Smart Love which is quite um, easy going, very relaxing and it ends up getting a little bit more somber as we progress into the middle of the album and towards the end. So after Smart Love, the second song is called Who Was It? And I wasn't as much of a fan of this song because there was quite a bit of like repeated notes and chords in the chorus, as well the rap was a really big part of the song, so um, it just kind of didn't click with me. But I really loved how they toned it right down again with Playground. So Playground started out with some really nice acoustic sound before they kind of get into the bulk of the melodies um, with a bunch of layers in the middle. The way that the song is mixed, it gives a very kind of nostalgic feel. You can generally get a really good feel of what the song is trying to say and what the lyrics are trying to portray by watching the music video. Playground is one of the more promoted singles in this EP and the music video is actually pretty cool. Um, I really liked it. I like the slice of life aspects of each of the members kind of reflecting and giving their interpretation of the lyrics more than the actual dancing um, and the choreography in the video. So for those of you guys who don't know, K-pop videos usually have two aspects of it. One of it is the storytelling part and the other is like the dance heavy choreo part. And generally I like the dance heavy choreo a lot. I actually found the choreo for Playground quite smooth and it wasn't as intense so it kind of did go well with the overall like mood of the song but generally I wasn't a big fan of those patterned repetitive fuzzy and checkered outfits. Playground is actually a really great song to put in the middle of the track list because it balances out um, the happy tones of smart love and then the darker tones of creek and want you back that are after. So the next song um, is creek and creek is probably my second favorite song in this entire album. Um, Smart Love is first, so Creek is probably second because it's really different and it picks up the pace in a very different way. It grounds the entire album in a kind of darker mood but at the same time keeps up a very catchy and upbeat rhythm that um, you could actually dance to. I do like the images that the lyrics evoke and the feelings that it evokes so Creek is probably one of my favorites. Like whenever I'm studying or I'm zoned out and the song comes on I actually tune into the song right away because of how catchy it is so Creek is like a really great one. The last song on the album is called Want You Back and it goes with the general theme and the storytelling that they been kind of doing through each of the songs but I actually found that um, it gravitates a bit more to like the positive major chords rather than the minor chords I got like a happier feeling from it even though the song is about like wanting a loved one back the concept of the song isn't really anything new but I did like the contrast the rap bits are actually accompanied by like harder rougher tones so I thought that was like a really good contrast throughout the song to kind of like jump back and forth overall the album is actually quite enjoyable I found it pretty diverse um, but it is a very safe album for you kiss fans and for kiss me is because because generally um, it doesn't do anything too crazy but it still provides enough like variety throughout each of the tracks to make every single track distinguishable and every track memorable in its own way. The cover art just shows all the members kind of hanging out very down to earth kind of style. The cover art design actually kind of reflects the aesthetic that you kind of see in the music video so that has a theme of coherence going on which is really great for the overall um, impression of the album and then the songs. So that is all I have to say for this EP. I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I hope you guys give this album a try. It's not very long so it won't take up a lot of your time and it will actually be a pretty interesting album to kind of like dip your toes into if you're new to K-pop I think. As well if you guys liked this video don't forget to hit like or subscribe for more from me and if you guys have any K-pop uh, videos or songs or artists or groups that you want me to check out leave a comment below.
below or tweet me at Curious Cloudy. I'm always looking for some new music to listen to. And if you guys want to see more of these uh, music album review videos, um, don't forget to hit thumbs up for the video. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye!